Hey, Derwitz. Derwitz, Woo. good for him. Shout out to all the white people out here who like rib, make ribs though. Like I, that's the first I've ever heard of that. Normally it's black people talking about the make ribs. I didn't say her dad was black. That's true. I just assume so. New layer. How racist of me. <laughs> yeah, I just like to start off my set by saying fuck motivational speakers, um, Tony Robbins and the rest of them. I don't really appreciate that shit. Some of us are supposed to be mediocre. I mean, some of, some of us need to work at Jack in the Box to build character. Some of us need to do stand-ups at random places called Karma Lounge to make ourselves feel better and to work along with our Medi-Cal. Um, I don't know where the fuck I was going with that shit, but fuck motivational speakers. All right, that's that bit. Yo, I'm going to come back to that joke when I remember that joke. I'm going to chop it up to the weed. Um... I hate traffic. I hate traffic, dude. It's, it's the worst. I feel like every uh, freeway entrance just needs an immediate exit. Maybe a little sign above the exit that says, fuck that shit, I'm not going to work today. I didn't line up for this. Um, when I was getting on the freeway entrance today, uh, some homeless dude was knocking on my window because I guess that's when my window attracts homeless people. And he, uh, he put up a sign that said, um, we'll wash your car. And I was thinking maybe he should wash himself first because uh, last time I checked, my Honda Civic was cleaner than you. That was a horrible joke. Fuck it. Yo, I love pepperoni titties. If there's any ladies out there with pepperoni titties, I will suck them, no question. <laughs> I really want to get a real Asian in my life. Um, I mean, I've had Asians, but not like the real kind. Like, uh, I feel like Filipino doesn't count because secretly they are black people. <laughs> I've been going to the line hotel to find me a real Asian lately, and it's not really working out. The line hotel is cool. It's a bunch of Asians who like occasionally dance with black people. But I find that the more light skin you are, the better chance you have. Um, last Saturday I was at the Lion Hotel dancing with this like Asian straight from Taiwan. She didn't even really speak English. It was great. We were dancing. We weren't talking. How it should be. And uh, all of a sudden, she just backed away like I had AIDS or some shit. And I was like, hold on, what happened? And she just points. And I turn around and it's like a whole bunch of Asians about yay high. She goes, my family, my family. No approve, no approve. And I was like, fuck, what? I got to be this tall to ride this ride? Like, come on, I'm a nice guy. All right. Yo, me and my phone are best friends. We do everything together. It's the middleman between me and women. It gets me work. It shows me where I need to go. We go to the movies. We do everything together. We're best buds. The other day, we were watching some horn hubs together. I was watching my phone watch porn hub. And my phone was watching me watch porn hub. We're having some good old quality time together. But I didn't appreciate the other motherfuckers in the park joining us. It's my quality time with my phone, people. Let us be. My grandpa was talking to me the other day, and uh, it was cool. You know, he was talking about the old world or war stories and shit. You know, it was just cool. But I happened to be on my cell phone just fucking around on Instagram. And he looks at me and he goes, You know what, boy? Your generation relies too much on technology. And I looked at him and I said, nah, Grandpa, your generation relies too much on technology. And then I unplugged his life support. <laughs> he ain't appreciate that shit. Plugged it back then, though. That's my nigga. This is a really lackluster set. Probably because of the weed, chopped up to the weed. I only got a minute left, so I'm going to go back to the motivational speaker bullshit I was talking about. <laughs> What I was trying to say is I still forgot because I smoked weed, but I was going to go get my weed card today, um, but uh, I got high, so I didn't really make it, but I was thinking about it like, fuck getting a weed card, okay? Like, I'm trying to keep my money in the community, all right? I'm trying to help the homie on the block. I mean, sure, his weed not, might not be called like Razzle Dazzle 95, Alakazam, Supercalifragilistic, SBLDocious, but... I got shit to do today, people. Like, forget my jokes on stage today. That's my time, young camera talk. <laughs>